It was deemed advisable at this time that the person of the Philippine conqueror, Manuel Quezon, should be moved immediately from Manila to safety and security. The choice of this evacuation was for him, known as the impregnable fortress in the Philippines. Let's go this way, please. December 24, 1941. While bombs fell on the bay, the SS Mayon ferried the president and his party and family to Corregidor, where they arrived at nightfall. General George Spoor, commander of the fort, formally received the president in a lateral in Malintantan. Mr. President, uh, please accept our apologies for not being able to give you and your family more comfortable quarters. We understand, General. We have to make the best of the situation. But think no more about it. You know, as a young man during the Phil-American War, I went through worse conditions fighting you Americans. So don't worry, General. I assure you, we will survive. Thank you, Mr. President. Now for our billeting arrangement. You will occupy a lateral close to the hospital wards, Mr. President, together with High Commissioner Sayer and the male members of the staff. Mrs. Kazan and your daughter will occupy another lateral with the nurses, along with Mrs. Sayer and the other ladies, including your son and the members of your cabinet. There will be 28 persons within the area. But I assure you... Thank you, General. We will manage. Oh, and a holy Christmas for you. Same to you, sir. <laughs> <coughs> it was Christmas Eve when President Quezon arrived at Corregidor. Mass was celebrated at midnight by the chaplain and Father Ortiz, using an improvised altar made out of boxes and crates and pieces of luggage. President Quezon recalls. When we heard the words, Gloria in excelsis, Deo in terra pax hominibus, bone dominatus, a heavenly song sung by angels almost 2,000 years ago, and what sounded hatefully I imagine. <laughs> Glory to God on high and on earth, peace to men of good will. Peace. With palms falling around us and on our beleaguered, unprotected boys in nearby Padang. It was an awful night. The <laughs> first of so many excruciating days and nights of hate. For I 